Hello, it's good to have you on board on this reliability monitoring training. My name is Fahad Hamoud Arawahi. If you want to know more about me, please feel free to visit my detail in the menu. This training course contains six modules of information grouped around a dedicated subject per module. The subjects have a follow-up sequence, meaning that it is assumed that you finish a particular module before you start a following. Anyway, the modules list as follows. Module 1 is dedicated to general introduction to reliability. Module number 2 is dedicated to Appendix 1 to AMC MA302. Module 3 is dedicated to FAA Advisory Circular AS120-79A. Module 4 is dedicated to failure consideration and analysis. Module 5 is dedicated to data collection and reporting schemes. And finally, Module 6 is dedicated to reliability data monitoring. Now take back of your seat in the upright position and prepare yourself for the takeoff of this reliability monitoring monitoring training. Welcome to module one of this reliability monitoring training course. This module takes you through the general introduction to reliability where we already became aware of something interesting in reliability aspects. It starts with the general answer on the question what is reliability and moves on into the definition of reliability. After that, we continue with a general explanation of what a reliability program provides for a step over in a substandard manufacturing subject to show you the sensitivity of the quality versus reliability. The following general subject deals with equipment failures, equipment degradation, and condition monitoring, and aviation requirements. We conclude this module with, the, with an introduction into the subject of the regulatory requirements in which both EASA and FAA requirements will be highlighted. Enjoy the content of this module. What is reliability? Reliability is a broad term that focuses on the ability of a part assembly or system to perform its intended function. Assuming that the part assembly or system is performing its intended function at time equals zero. Reliability can be defined as the probability that an item will continue to perform its intended function without failure for a specified period of time under stated condition. This figure shows us a functionality of a part, assembly, or system as a function of time. When we observe the functionality for a display unit of the cockpit as presented in this example, start at time equals zero and monitor the display unit functionality until a specified time and find what the functionality has remained constant over the defined period. We can say that there is a reliable situation. Here we start again observing the functionality for the display unit in the cockpit at time equals zero while constantly monitoring the display unit functionality. Now we see that all a sudden some, somewhere along the, the timeline that some functionality of the display has failed come back later on. For this situation, we can say that there has been unreliable functionality of the display. Reliability can be defined as the probability that a part, assembly, or system will perform its intended function under specified conditions without failure for a specified amount of time. With the definition of reliability in mind, reliability is a probability 
In other words, there is always a chance for failure. Reliability applies to a specified period of time or cycle. Reliability is restricted to operation under stated condition. Operation under stated condition. Fungus, chemicals, radiation, humidity, altitude, ozone, electromagnetic pulses, mishandling. Example, ESD, acoustic noises, vibration, and shock, atmospheric, and temperature. Definition of reliability. R T equals integral T0 to TS FX DX, where FX is the failure probability density function. Reliability programs provides an event reporting system a means of measuring the performance of aircraft systems and components. Co performance comparison to predetermined level of acceptable performance. Again we come back to our display unit example but now we only see a slight reduction in functionality. The question is here is about acceptability of the function reduction. If the remaining functionality of the unit and and or the additional unit in the cockpit still delivers enough data to the pilot to conduct a safe flight this is acceptable if not then the aircraft with the failure the failing display may after landing not be released to service and a component replacement might be required the shown situation of the realistic examples of an operator daily operation and the, specif the specifics of either for the release to service or an aircraft on ground situation also called AOG it is to be sorted about uh, the use of operation minimum equipment list. Event reporting and data analysis permits a rapid identification of an adverse trends. If the systems and components do not meet established levels or an alert is issued and an investigation is initiated in order to assess the problem and to initiate program of corrective action. Quality versus reliability. A part, assembly or system may have a reliable design but when it is manufactured and used in the operational field, its reliability may be unsatisfactory. This type of failure did not occur because of an improper design, but the result of a non-compliant manufacturing or testing process. The quality of the product is found not to comply with the stated design specification because the manufacturing and testing process does not deliver the proper result. A realistic example of a poor manufacturing standard is shown here. Although the design of the wiring routing was appropriate here, it was found that the installation of the wire was not in accordance with the standard practices. The effect of the inappropriate installation was wire shaving, leading to all kind of failures of the affected system. This fishbone diagram is a useful helping aid to identify the root cause or the prob probable cause of a low manufacturing standard, assuming that the design standard is not a cause of the detected problem. When it comes to manufacturing, it's all about the depicted fa factors that may affect the quality of the product, which are men, machine, material, etc. In identifying the cause of the substandard repetitive why question is to be asked while using the diagram star starting with the, the why did this happen. Now let's assume that the answer on the first why question is because proper training was not provided. 
one can continue by asking why the proper training was not provided, and so on and so forth.